ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Now, let's put that power to the test. It's time for K-Check! Hello everyone, I am Janelle Labor. Ako po si Chanson Pascual, and this is K-Check, the newest and smartest game show on Philippine television. Marami ang hindi nagsasawang dagdagan ang kanilang mga kaalaman. Here on K-Check, titignan natin kung gaano katindi ang brain power nila in various disciplines. And in the final week of competition, malalaman natin kung sino ang kauna-unahang tatanghaling K-Check champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. First contestant is Jernex, a fourth-year BS Physics student in UP Diliman, whose interests range from astronomy and science in general to animes, mangas, Asian music, and games. Our second contestant is Gerald, an MS Environmental Science student in UP Diliman with a BS Astronomy undergraduate degree from the Rizal Technological University. Our third contestant is Kian, a graduating student from the UP Theater Arts Program, majoring in production management, who also loves playing basketball. And our fourth contestant is Nietzsche, a graduating BS Medical Technology student at New Era University. He is fond of classical music and plays the guitar and the piano. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics at the UP Diliman. Professor Neil Santillan, Chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And Professor Rowie Daroy Morales, Professor of Law at the UP College of Law. And now contestants, papasok na tayo sa K-Check Paramihan, where each correct answer is worth 10 points. This is your chance to bank as many points as you can and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin! <music> Next, in what sport did Bill Russell and Ramon Fernandez become famous? Billiard. Hello, basketball. Gerald, which Filipino-American singer recorded the hit songs Locked Out of Heaven and Leave the Door Open? Bruno Mars. Hey, check. Kian, how many right angles does a square have? Four. Okay, check. Nietzsche, in what sport can you play snooker, eight ball, or pool? Poker. Malo. Billiards. Jernex. The movie with Order of the Phoenix in its title is part of which film franchise? Harry Potter. Okay, Gerald, in math, what do you call lines in a plane that do not meet? Parallel lines. Okay, check. Kian, the greatest sporting event is held every two years, alternating summer and winter. What is its most attended event called? Olympics. Okay, check. Nietzsche, which famous female singer hit the music charts with the songs Mean and All Too Well. Beyonce. Malde. Taylor Swift. Jernex in geometry, what do you call an angle whose measure is less than 90 degrees? Acute angle. Okay, check. Gerald, in what sport do competitors use a bow and arrow to target concentric circles? Archery. Okay, check. Kian, Anna and Elsa are the main characters in what Disney movie? Frozen. Okay, check. Nietzsche. In geometry, what polygon's area can be derived if you get one half its base times its height? Correct answer is triangle. And that's it for our first round, the K check paramihan round. That's it for our first round, the K-Check Paramihan Round. Kailangan may kaalaman ka sa pop culture at sports. Oo nga, medyo kinabahan ako sa sarili ko doon kasi wala akong masyadong nasagot. Ikaw pa ba? Walang Oo. masasagot? Pa pop culture, yung mga tanong kanina, may masasagot ka ba doon, Prof. Rowie? Wala. Ang alam ko lang po ay popsy culture. Hmm. No? Popsicle! Um, Siguro may kinalaman, tama po yung isa nating miyembro ng hurado dito, may kinalaman yung edad ko dahil hindi na po ako 35. 
36 na po ako. So, hindi ko na po alam yung mga pop. Popsy na lang. May mga katanungan ka ba sa mga bata? Yes po. Sana kay Gerald. No? Yung astronomy ba? Astrology. Is that a science? Astro astrology po is a pseudoscience. Astrology. Uh -oh. Yan ba yung may mga Gemini, Aries, Taurus? Yan ba yun? Ah, yes po. Na binabase sa constellation ang personalidad ng tao na hindi naman talaga. Walang kinalaman ang between sa ugali ng tao. <laughs> so, hindi siya pala siyensya? Hindi po. <laughs> so, ang tawag natin sa kanya, art. Uh, to quote Sheldon Cooper, isa po siyang mass delusional hysteria. <laughs> Anong kinalaman ng envy? Which ah, well, is sa science, hindi ba? Sa astrology. Uh, well, uh, isa po sa pangarap ko ay lumipad na bukod sa Earth, ang ating pag-aralan ay mga kapaligiran sa ibang planeta. Uh, ngayon, may mga exploration na sa Mars. Uh, lately, may mga soil sample na na, na nasuri ang Curiosity rover ata yun. At malaking hakbang yun upang mas makita natin kung habitable nga ba ang Mars. Excuse me, habitable <laughs> para sa Earthians o yes, para po. sa atin? Opo, para po sa tao. Hindi ba napaka egocentric natin. <laughs> Tayo lang ang ano, pwedeng tumira. Oo nga po eh. Uh, isa din pong, uh, isa din pong sa pinag-aralan namin sa Astro dati, yung pagiging, uh, yung tao nga lang ba ang nasa kal kalawakan. Eh napakalaki ng kalawakan. Na parang ako, personally, personally po, ay hindi naniniwala na tayo lang ang nasa malawak na daigdig, na kalawakan ito. <laughs> Thank you. Probably ako, nagpapaisip din ako no? kung tayo lang ba may karapatang pumunta ng Mars. May karapatan ka bang pumunta ng Mars, Prof. Marian? Of course, because I'm Marian. So, I can go to Mars anytime. Siro naman yan, no? Okay. May question ka sa mga contestants natin? Gusto kong tanongin si... Nakatago siya, Jernex. Ano naman ang journey mo sa buhay ngayon? Uh, katulad po kay Gerald, I am also pursuing a course related to astronomy, which is BS Physics. And I hope so one day, sana uh, mapunta tayo sa any astronomy institutions internationally. Sana lang sa NASA, we hope. You know, we, hindi, libre namang mangarap, pero yun nga. Uh, ngayon, uh, humble, humble muna tayo. Kailangan muna nating tapusin ang course ko, which is BS Physics. Pero patapos ka na, di ba? Yes po. Pero bakit ka nag-physics nerd ka ba nung bata ka? Ay, actually hindi po. Yun nga po eh, kasi dapat, dapat po talaga hindi ako mag-physics kasi nga po medyo mahina po ako sa math. Pero dahil nga passion ko talaga yung astronomy and yun nga, pitinay ko yung pinakamalapit na course sa astronomy na nandito sa UP Diliman which is BS Physics. Okay. Thank you, Jer. Next ngayon, ready na ba kayong lahat for our Pabilisan Round? Next here on K-Check! Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Ano na nga ba ang puntos ng ating mga contestants? Si Gerald, may 30 points. Kian, 30 points. Jernex, 20 points. At makakahabol pa si Nietzsche. Ganun naman yon di ba? Correct. Hindi competitive natin, sila. Oo, competitive. Mm. At may chance pa sa mga susunod na rounds. Mm, gusto ko talaga yung eager na silang sagutin yung mga katanungan. Naman. Mm. So we're now going into K-Check Pabilisan. Buzz in first for the right to answer the question. Correct answers are worth 20 points. Pero sa round na ito, minus 10 points ang maling sagot. Kaya contestants, think before you press that buzzer. Let's begin. In the Star Wars film saga, what is the name of the character that Carrie Fisher played? Gerald? Princess Leia. k -check. What is the name of a 5,100-meter-high peak in Turkey that is a national symbol for Armenia as well as traditionally considered as the resting place of Noah's Ark? The correct answer is Mount Ararat. Three main women characters on which popular television show are Rachel, Monica, and Faith? Gerald? Friends. Kaysha. 
regarded as the father of English literature, who wrote the Canterbury Tales, which is a story of 30 pilgrims. <laughs> Gerald? Jeffrey Corsair. Which is a story of 30 pilgrims who decided to tell stories while traveling to a shrine. The correct answer is Jeffrey Chaucer Kaycheck. Which Tony Award winning musical includes the song the songs 10 Dual Commandments, My Shot, and Satisfied? Jesus Gerald. Christ Superstar? Malay. The correct answer is Hamilton. What is the name of the largest European peninsula by area, which is composed of parts of Sweden, Norway, and Finland? Your next? Scandinavia. Okay, check. What TV series later turned into a movie starring Chris Pine and Zoe Saldana told the story of the five-year mission of the Enterprise? <laughs> Gerald. Star Trek. Okay, check. Which French novelist wrote around the world in 80 days and journey to the center of the earth? <laughs> Gerald. Jules Bird. Okay, check. What is the largest city in the Philippines in terms of population? Zernex. Quezon City. Okay, check. To what government position was Alexander Hismundo appointed last April 5? Gerald. Chief Justice. Okay, check. In geology, which of the general types of rock usually comes from volcanoes? Zernex. Igneous rock. Okay, check. What is the common name for the Indian film industry based in Mumbai? Gerald? Bollywood. K-Check. <laughs> and that's the end of our K-Check Pabilisan Round. And that's the end of our K-Check Pabilisan Round. Mag points recap muna tayo. Nauna si Gerald with 160 points. Kasunod si Jernex with 80 points. Si Kian ay 30 points. At si Michi ay hahabol. No? Exciting ulit yung ganong klase ng round. No? Kasi ang dami-dami nilang alam. Mm -hmm. From sciences to pop culture pop again. Culture and then yung current events. Oo, no? oh, oo, oh, mm -hmm. oh, oh. Tanungin ko, saan tanungin si Michi? Medyo kinakabahan ka ba, Michi? Uh, opo. <laughs> Paano nga ba natin mapapakalma si Nietzsche para makaalis naman ang kanyang kaba? Gusto mo bang kantahan si Nietzsche? Hindi ako kumakanta. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, paghahandaan mo yan. With, no? with dance uh, number. Ako may follow-up question ako okay. doon. No? Sa tingin mo, Nietzsche, ano yung mga dapat na kaalaman meron tayo para manalo sa gantong klase ng patimpalak? Dapat, dapat ang po. Dapat may general knowledge po talaga. Mm -hmm. Tapos, interesado po dapat sa lahat ng bagay po. Correct. Uh -oh. So, may interest dapat sa lahat ng bagay. Oh, Gusto ko yun. No? At magbasa. Mm -hmm. Okay. Prof. Neil, nakapagbasa ka ba? Well, palagi. Palagi. Dapat nagbabasa. Bilang paghahanda sa pagtuturo. Mm -hmm. O kaya, ngayon, palagi rin nanunood ng Netflix. Uh -huh. Documentaries. Mm -hmm. Tama. <laughs> may tanong ka ba sa mga contestants natin? Yung tanong ko para kay Kian. Okay, si Kian ay theater arts major na mahilig maglaro ng basketball. So ngayon ang tanong ko, paano ang ugnayan o connection ng theater arts at, at basketball? Uh, sa, kung, sa unang pagkaka, ano ko po sa question nyo, unang pumasok sa isip ko napakalayo po talaga. Pero kagaya ng pagme-major ko ay sa management, ang teatro at ang basketball, kung pareho silang may maayos na sistema, lahat ng naangkop na tao dito, magpe-perform ng efficient. Galing. Well, synergy at teamwork, no? Yes, Collaboration. Ang galing ng sagot ni Kian. Mm -hmm. Good luck, Kian. May laban ka pa. Correct. Oh, may laban pa silang lahat, no? So this time, our contestants will face their toughest challenge yet dahil ang ating ultimate pagalingan round susunod na here on K-Check! Welcome back! Points recap muna tayo. Leading si Gerald with 160 points, followed by Jernex with 80 points, K 
Kian, 30 points. At sabi nga natin kanina, hahabol si Nietzsche. Yes, no? hindi pa tapos ang laban. Hindi pa. Mm. Diba, marami pang pwedeng mangyari. Oo, so, kailangan yung memorya mo, mm -hmm. magagamit mo sa round na ito. No? Mm -hmm. So, malalaman natin sa pagbabalik ng ating round kung sino nga ba mananalo sa kanila. Sa K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan, where correct answers are worth 30 points, wrong answers get a 15-point deduction. At para mas madagdagan ang kaalaman ng ating mga contestants at viewers, sa round na ito, sa mga professors na ating panel of experts manggagaling ang mga tanong. At the end of this round, malalaman na natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check Daily Winner. Contestants, let's, let's begin! begin! Question number one, Prof. Marian. Science, syempre. What kind of lenses are thicker at the center than at the edges? Zernex. Convex lens. Okay, example nito ay human eye, magnifying glass. Convex lenses is the correct answer. Okay, check. Thank you. Prof. Neil, next question, please. Who was the Philippine president that made the Philippines a member of the Southeast Asia Treaty Organization or SEATO? <laughs> Gerald. Carlos P. Garcia. Mali. Nietzsche. Ferdinand Marcos. Mali. Well, isa to sa pinakasikat na presidente ng Pilipinas. Siya yung nagbukas, siya yung kauna-unahang pangulo nagbukas ng Malacanang sa publiko. Siya rin ang unang pangulo ng bansa na nagsuot ng barong Tagalog sa kanyang inauguration. Ang tamang sagot ay Ramon Magsaysay. Maraming salamat, Prof. Neil. Prof. Rowie? What is the term used to describe copying substantially? Zernex? Plagiarism? Ah, alright. Um, Prof. Marian? Okay, madali muna. Kayang kay ito. What do you call the study of fishes? Gerald? Limitology. Mali. Okay, comes from the Greek words logi, which means to study and learn, and fish is ictus. So it's ichthyology. Alam nyo yon? Prof. Neil. Baka kayang-kaya ito ng mga contestants natin. Which branch of philosophy examines what is right and wrong in human behavior? Gerald? Ethics. Ang tamang sagot ay ethics kay check. Thank you. Prof. Right. Okay, in which city is the museum called Prado located? Nietzsche? Madrid. Kay check. Thank you, Prof. Rowie. Prof. Marian? Umikot-ikot muna tayo. In how many ways can five people be arranged in a circle? Jernex. 25. Mali. Kian. 20. Mali. La kailangan mag-review ng math. So, to arrange five people in a circle, um, you fix one person, then permute the four. So, it's four factorial, four times three, times two, times one, which is 24. Okay. Pwede pala may ganong klase ng ano, no? arrangement. Okay? Prof. Neil. Na-overwhelm ako sa tanong. <laughs> oh, nahihirapan akong sumagot dun sa tanong. Okay. Um, so, ang tanong ay, sino ang pinakamatagal na nagsilbing Senate President ng Pilipinas? Kian. Franklin Drilon. Mali. Zernex. Juan Ponce Drile. Mali. Ang taong ito ay nagsilbi bilang Senate President mula 1916 
hanggang 1935. So, nung naging presidente siya ng Philippine Commonwealth, dun siya nagtapos sa kanyang panunungkulan bilang Senate President. Ang tamang sagot ay Manuel Luis Quezon. So, halos dalawang dekada siyang nagsilbi bilang Senate President. Maraming salamat. Prof. Rowie, next question. Sino ang nagpinta ng spoliaryo? <laughs> Gerald. Juan Luna. Juan Luna, yung spoliaryo na yun, is, um, is, uh, is um, an illustration of the then ongoing struggle of the classes. Mm -hmm. Di ba? Naghihilahan sila. Mm -hmm. Yan Okay, check. Thank you, Prof. Rowie. Prof. Marian. Last question from me. What do you call this chain of reactions occurring in the mitochondria through which almost all living cells produce energy? Nietzsche? Krebs cycle. Natutuwa ako. Okay, so I think alam na alam ito dahil med tech si Nietzsche. So Krebs cycle, citric acid cycle, or tricarboxylic Silic acid cycle. Correct answer. So, okay, check. Thank you, Prof. Neil. Huling tanong mula sa akin. What is the hierarchy of public officials and personnel selected on the basis of merit to compose the government's civil service? Ang tamang sagot ay bureaucracy. Thank you. Prof. Roby, last question for this All round. Right. Which prolific Spanish artist from Malaga is known as the Cubist? Gerald? Pablo Picasso. Tama. Tama. Okay, check. Uh, Pablo Picasso, of course, is from Spain. Is from Malaga. Uh, hello, Malaga. I will see you in a few weeks. Um... At alam po natin that um, Picasso started as realist. Kasi bago ka maging surrealist, and Cubism is part of uh, what uh, the bigger spectrum we call uh, surrealism, no? hindi siya realist, ay dahil meron siyang kapansanan daw sa paningin. Maraming salamat, Prof. Rowey. And that is it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. And that's it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Gerald, our K-Check Daily winner, with a final score of 220 points. We'll see Gerald again on Friday when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semifinals. Thanks to Jernex, Kian, and Nietzsche for joining. And to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Marian, Professor Neil, and Professor Rowie. This is Jensen Pasqual. And I am Junelle Labor. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check.